hi guys welcome back again to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to prepare one pot get together a tasty jollof rice please if today is your first time coming across this page don't forget to hit the like button follow if you have not followed share this video and leave me with a fabulous comment i'll be happy to see your comments let's get started so these are the tomato i'll be using to cook the jollof rice i've got three bell pepper two onion tomato pepper and garlic place your clay pot to the fire add your protein today we are going to be using chicken thighs and beef meat so these are my seasoning garlic ginger thyme pepper curry onions and some seasoning to taste i'm using a knob maggi to season my chicken and beef so right now i'm going to combine those together and i'll cover the pots and allow the chicken to release its own water this is my blended tomatoes so now i'm going to be checking on the chicken and beef as you can see it has released its own water but i'm still going to add more water because we need it to cook the jollof rice so now i'll cover the pot and allow the chicken to cook for 20 minutes now add a clean pot on the fire add uh, cooking oil now we want to fry the chicken so I'm going to place the chicken step by step into the hot oil and now cover the pot for the chicken to cook as you can see the other side of the chicken has fried now I'm going to flip it to the other side to allow the other side to fry as well i'll cover the pots and i'll allow it to fry at this point the chicken has fried very well so i'll take them out and go in with the next batch i'll do the same i'll cover the pots and allow the other side of the meat to cook and then i'll check back on the beef and see if it's cooking So at this point, the other side of the beef has finished frying. I'll turn it to the other side and allow it to fry as well. So at this time, this chicken, the beef is ready. Now I will take them out. Next, go in with your diced onion saute your onion until it's golden brown like this next add your boiled tomato don't worry you see this onion that is black in the tomato trust me by the time the rice is done you won't see it again so next you want to add your one tin tomato so you are going to fry the tin tomato is the hardest part because you need to fry it at least 20 to 30 minutes to enhance the sour taste to go away so then i'm done frying my tomato then i added my meat stock and then i added more water so i'm going to combine the tomato and the meat stock together And I'll leave it to boil at next I'll add my seasoning I added two knoll cube don't forget we don't want to add too much because we already have some meat uh, chicken stock in our meat stock so next add some salt combine as well
Next, you want to add your washed basmatic rice or easy cooked rice. So this rice, I did not parboil it. I do not parboil my jollof rice. I wash the rice up to seven times to take out a lot of starch and put it in a drain to drain out the water. As you can see the rice, I'm combining the rice and the tomato together. Keep watching. Please do share this video if you have watched up to this place. So this is the amount of water I will put in the beginning of cooking the rice. I will cover the pot and check on the rice after three to four minutes. So this is after three to four minutes as you can see the water is getting dry so now i'm going to turn the rice so that the wall in the down will go up and the wall in the up we go down so i check on the rice again i put more water because i know i needed more water so you need to be adding water slowly slowly and cook in the low heat so as you can see this is the final batch. I didn't add any more water. The rice is already cooked, it's ready. So I'm just giving the rice a mix. At this point, our rice is ready. So we will leave it to settle for five minutes and then you can enjoy your rice with plantain, salad, and so on and so forth if you like this video give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this jollof rice as you can see tell me if you see the onions anymore it has faded inside the jollof rice that's my secret recipe if you fry your onions very well like a golden brown you will get the flavor inside the rice so that's my secret recipe I'm sharing with you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow, share this video with your friends and family. Stay tuned, stay connected. Thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.